you there. <laughs> Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you're notified whenever I post a new video. My name is Silem. Today we're starting off barefaced because you're going to get ready with me. I have just one hour to get ready because I'm going out with my friends and I thought to just take you through the whole process. So I'm going to take a shower, do my makeup, um, style my hair and then I'm going to show you guys how to make a no-sew dress that I'm going to be wearing out today So if you want to see how I do this, you want to get ready with me, you want to watch how I make this no-sew dress Then please keep watching So it's shower time and I thought to show you guys the products that I'll be using Yeah, so the first product is this amazing product right here I have been having breakouts for the longest time and this product has really helped me um, you know, just manage those breakouts and really clear my skin and make my skin like brighter, cleaner, fresher, everything really. It's actually called the Duval Radiant Skin Care System, okay? It has um, four brushes and it also has the actual um, spin system here. This is the spin system, this is what it looks like. It's water resistant, so you don't have to worry about using this in the shower. It uses four batteries and it simply comes on and off in one simple push of a button. I really recommend this product and I really love it. So if you want to purchase this um, Duval Radiant Skincare System, simply log on to www.duval.com and um, you're going to have 70% off this product if you put Silem70 at checkout. So for My shower so I'm just gonna do my makeup now and then I'll style my hair and then we'll go ahead and make the um, no sew dress So I'm using one yard of fabric for this. This is actually a mesh, a mesh fabric. It's like a net see-through fabric. So I'm just folding it into um, two, so it's folded equally. And I'm just turning the fabric so that it's easier for me to, you know, work with. And now I'm just checking the width of the fabric. Now since it's one yard, it's 36 inches. Now I'm marking half of that width, which is 18 inches. So half of 36 inches is. 18 inches so this fabric was a bit hard for me to mark the chalk on so i decided not to bother with the chalk i just decided to just measure and cut straight away but if you're using a fabric that you can mark please by all means mark everything so that you have straight lines when you actually cut through now from that midpoint i'm marking six inches to the right and then i'm just putting a mark there with my scissors and then from that point, I'm marking three inches to the right as well. And that is the width of my armhole. And now the length of my armhole, I'm just making it three inches. So I don't want it to be too wide. So if your um, arm circumference is more than mine, which is 12 inches, if your arm circumference is more than 12 inches, feel free to increase the width and the length of your armhole. So it's something that you can actually use and you can actually wear so i'm just cutting that through 
I simply made a curved shape which will serve as my armhole. So I went ahead to check the length of my dress and it was 34 inches which is quite long compared to what I actually want to achieve. So I decided to cut out 2 inches from the bottom making the length of the dress 32 inches. So I'm just marking 2 inches from the bottom and I'm cutting both, um, both sides of the fabric. I'm cutting through all of the fabric. I'm not just cutting the top part, I'm cutting both the top part and the bottom part of the fabric just so that it reduces my length but I'll end up using just the belt that is complete, not the one that's in half. So this um, dress can actually be styled in two different ways. With the first way to style it, you, ha you have to put your arm through that oval shape that you created. But for the second style, you don't have to put your arm through. So in this case, I put my arm through and I actually prefer this style to the other one. But let me know in the comment section which style you prefer. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section. So as you can see the second style is clearly giving us cold shoulder vibe or in this case one-sided cold shoulder vibe because it's just one shoulder that's showing duh <laughs> so um let me know what you what you think in the comment section let me know which of the styles you prefer and which style you would definitely rock to wherever it is you'd like to rock this style to personally i like the first style more but um yeah i'd like to know what you guys think and also if you want to if you ever recreate this style or recreate this um kimono dress don't forget to tag me on instagram my handle will be on the screen love you guys so very much i'll see you in my next one